Hello witches and warlocks, welcome back to my channel, so nice to see you again. So it's April um, and I have not been on here very much, I do apologise, I know it's been um, a long time since I posted something um, and I did say I had more stuff coming at the end of uh, last month, however things changed and things went wrong and things happened. Um, I recorded a video and then for some reason um, I lost it. It just went and I couldn't get it back again, um, which was uh, very annoying, which was meant to be my what I did during uh, Ostara video. I'm so sorry. Hopefully I'll get one done for Beltane. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, I've, I had my first vaccination and I was very, very ill um, with it. I had, um, I had some fever and some flu-like symptoms. I wasn't very well at all. So um, I've had lots going on and then work stuff. We're getting ready to reopen again next month. So lots of stuff has changed. So I have been a busy boy, but um, I have finally got my first box of the month, um, which I do believe is, um, is Freya's Cauldron. Um, I have not opened it, so I don't know. All I've done is opened the the little baggie. So this baggie, um, it comes in. So if you've not had Freya's Cauldron before, um, don't worry about it, because it comes in this, and it means that you're not gonna, no one's gonna know what it is inside. And even if they opened it, it comes completely and utterly blank. So it's just a normal box, which is why I think it's Freya's Cauldron, um, because it's only Freya's Cauldron that I know comes like this. So, um, so, so we shall open it and see what it is. Now, it's obviously April's box. Um, so, and it's the first box that I've had this month, which I'm very excited. I don't, I can't remember what the theme was. Um, so, this is what happens when you open it. This is what it looks like. So, it looks like there's something new on top that I've not seen before. So, I'm going to put this down. And we shall have a look at what's on top. So the first thing I see is this little thing here that says, phrase, cauldron, thank you. Um, every order from our website or purchases from our subscription boxes help us to plant more trees in the Freya's Cauldron Forest. We have joined um, Ecology to plant trees and help fund the world's best climate care solution. Okay, and it just gives you the website of the thing. So we're helping to plant trees, which I think is good. It's a good, good, good thing. Okay, so um, they give you all the information on top. And I, obviously, I don't like going through it because it does give it away. But, oh, I'm just going to see what the theme is. So the theme is Beltane, which is cool. Um, I always like boxes that revolve around the holiday coming up next. So, um if for those out there who aren't who are new to witchcraft and don't know what I mean by Beltane, Beltane is a holiday. Um, we have a thing called the Wheel of the Year, and throughout the year we celebrate different holidays. So, like for instance, um, there was just Easter, which for us is Ostara. It's actually a couple of days before Easter. It's about a week before Easter, in fact. Um, and um, basically, Ostara came first, and then Easter came afterwards, um, as it was. A Christian holiday. Um, we started it first with Ostara, which was a pagan holiday. Christian um, faith took it and changed it and adapted it to their thing and became Easter. But it all revolved around Ostara. The next holiday that we have very shortly coming up, which I don't think Christian Christians have anything that comes close, um, it's called Beltane. So that's what this is revolved around our next holiday. So Let's have a look what we first got in here. So we've got first thing first, um, Freya's Cauldron, um, Green Man Invocation. Ooh, sounds interesting. So it comes in a little purple bag. They usually come in these little purple bags. Um, and then on it, there is a little sticker. Um, and this is all about the Green Man, which is quite cool. I quite like the Green Man. I'm very much into the foresty type thing. Now, um, this looks like it's going to be like a spell kit. Um, so in here is just a very... No, it's hard to tell. You can't really tell on the camera because it's coming up white by the looks of thing. But it's actually like a really, really, really pale green. Almost like a mint green, but 
a little bit paler. So it's um, just a, that's all that's in here. But with Freya's Cauldron, um, they actually put everything you need in the box. So it doesn't come in the spell kit always. Sometimes if you need extra for the spell, it comes in the box already. So, um, so then it comes with this. Now, I'm not going to read because it spoils what's in the box because most of the time what's in the spell is what's in the box so i won't read that for now but we just had that candle in there for that one so the next little sort of baggie is this one so this one is freya's cauldron love yourself spell pouch so it's another little spell kit um and i must admit if i remember rightly we tend to get two spell kits from freya's cauldron Okay, so we've got a little piece of paper here um, that tells us all about it. We've got a little um, red fabric. We've got a what looks like a string. Yep, it's a white string. A white silky string. And a really pale pink. Really pale. I mean, you can. this one does show up, though, a little bit more. I think it's because... It's similar to the colour of my jumper. Um, but yeah, it's a pale pink candle. So that, I'm assuming, is we're going to make a pouch. Um, again, I will come back to these guys and read them because obviously I'm not going to because some of the stuff we use is in here. So it's a love yourself pouch. Um, and let's put this back in and we'll read that in a sec. Once we go through the box, we don't spoil anything, do we? Because um, we like to be surprised here on my channel. Um, okay, so the next thing is a magical herb, lemon balm. So this is lemon balm. Now I think I have lemon balm already. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I do. I think I have lemon balm, um, which is cool because it just adds to my collection. It just means that I just can add it to the jars. Um, I had to go out and buy some more jars the other day because I literally ran out. Um, I got a box and all it had was herbs, like tons of herbs. So I had to go out and I still haven't got enough. I bought six jars, filled them all, and I've still got more herbs to put in them. So if I don't have any lemon balm, I'm, I'm sure I do. But if I don't have any lemon balm, that's another, <laughs> another one I've got to buy. Um, so, but thankfully, I think they're only a pound. Yeah, they are. They're only a pound. The jars I found are only a pound, um, which is really cool. So, and they're quite big. So this one's a lemon bar, balm herb. And then we have a magical herb. Now they have a, a normal herb and then they have a mixed blend um, just for what you're going to use it for. So this will be for the spell. Um, and this one is the um, Sabbath of Beltane. Okay, so um, that is there so it's a sabbath of beltane so that's a mixture of herbs that they put together just for beltane um with the herbs that are um used for beltane that are associated with beltane um so it's more like a i suppose like a harvest festival type thing i guess i think it's more like the summer coming from spring to summer that sort of thing um so then we have these candles now these candles i know they look drab but it's for Beltane, so they are the right colours. Um, you've got white, you've got orange, you've got black, green, and it's a dark green because obviously it's um, all about the forest becoming um, really, really intense um, and foliage just bursting out everywhere. The forest, so it's all forest and earth colours which is really cool and that's why we got the green man invocation so we always get a ma we always get a bag of these which i always love because you can't have enough candles and i've got so many now of every color and i you can't get enough really really can't get enough um okay okay right so here we go now i just had a conversation i haven't had a conversation yet but i had an email from somebody um that um, I recently done a box, um, an unboxing, and they emailed me to say, could I email them back to um, let them know about their box and what I don't, you know, what I didn't like about it and stuff. Um, now, it's not that I didn't like the box. I did like the box. Um, it's just that I have this thing about um, about different 
like different um, different things that go into the boxes. And one of my pet hates of all the boxes, and I'm not just single out any box, I'm going to say every box that does it, I just think, why? I just don't see the point. Um, and it's, um, it's these cords, these black cords, I hate them. I am, I'm so, I mean, in fairness to them, this one actually would fit me. I mean, it's a long old cord and it's a man cord. Like it's going to fit a man, which is good. It's long enough. Um, however, I just think, I just think it, like, why not a chain? Like the chain, chains are so much better. Um, then, I mean, they're really not that expensive either. I mean, thankfully this, um, this is actually on here is a green, the green woman. So on the back, it actually does say green woman. And this is quite heavy, really is heavy. Um, so I'll let you have a little look. So you've got the green man and this is the green woman. Um, and she's, she's got roots for feet and obviously trees for hands and stuff. So she lives in the forest. It's, um, I'm a big fan of the green man and the green woman. I mean, it's a good little charm i like this it's heavy um it's got some weight it's got weight to it um so if you put this on it's actually gonna hang it's not gonna it's not gonna be so light that it will it just doesn't hang right um this does hang right but i hate these cords um i just think if you i mean it's such a lovely charm so what i'm probably gonna do because this is quite heavy i'm gonna get a chain and put it on like my own chain, uh, silver chain, because I hate these cords, I really do. Regardless of whether it fits me or not, I just think the cords are just tacky and I don't like them. Um, so I apologize, I don't mean to be rude um, to you guys, because it's a great charm. It really is a great little, uh, like, little um, metal charm. I, and it's got some weight to it, it's really nice. Um, how what I don't like is when you get these little cords and then a flimsy little charm on the bottom that's so light it doesn't pull the cord um so it doesn't hang properly um and it's just looks cheaply made um so yeah um I would say guys whoever is out there whatever box you are if you're watching this unboxing please stop putting cords on your things um just if you're going to do it then make a statement of of a piece rather than put these cords in. It's not that I'm being fussy, guys. It's just that, you know, it just, it just, it's just such a waste when it's such a nice charm. Um, like, the charm's awesome. Um, but the cord, nah. Put on a metal chain. Like, it doesn't cost that much more. Um, it really doesn't, guys. Um, so then we got a stone. Of course, I don't know what the stone's called. Um, because, um they don't put the card in with it so it, i'll have to read it afterwards but it's a big old chunky one um it's quite nice it's got like a green flex in it um and it's white like a gray white and it's got green flex all the way through excuse me i don't know why every time i do these video i'm constantly burping at you i'm so sorry it's just like i drink lots of water throughout the day and i can't stop myself burping um I'm on a real health kick at the moment because I'm going back to work soon, so I'm trying to lose some weight. Um, I've gained so much weight over this lockdown um, that I'm trying to lose some weight, so I've gone on a health kick and I'm all I'm drinking is water at the moment, trying to detox. So yeah, so this is a gorgeous little stone. I've never seen anything like it, so which means I don't own it, which means it's new. I'm excited about that. I'll see what that is called in a bit. Okay, let's get something else out. Uh, oh, we've got... This, so this says, green man, coconut and lime soap. Oh, yay. I'm liking the idea of this. So it says, um, the ingredients on here. Um, I'm not going to go through all the ingredients. Um, but it does list the ingredients on here, which is good. Now, I've got soap from um, Cures and Curses. Um, I think I got soap from them twice. Yes, I did. I got two lots of soap from Cures and Curses, and I also got one from Witchbox, which I opened last, my last video, my unbox, last unboxing, and the um, all, all the soaps have been amazing, like stunning, and the, uh, the last one I got was from Witchbox was Raspberry and Black Pepper, and I was a bit unsure whether that was going to work, but you, the pepper basically 
is only in there for exfoliation, so you can actually feel it like taking the dead skin off. Um, and then the raspberry smell, my shower, I swear the moment I, because I share a shower block, so when my team are here, when they come back, we share a shower block, and um, that as soon as you step into the shower block, all you can smell is this raspberry soap in my shower. It is so potent, but it's gorgeous smell. Right, so this, oh, this is nice. Okay, well, this is like a normal block of soap. It doesn't really smell. It, I can't really smell the coconut, but then coconut's a funny smell, isn't it? Maybe you have to wet it first. Yeah, it's a uh, green man soap. So it actually says green man soap on it. It has got a sort of a whiff to it, but I can't, it's not, I mean, I suppose coconut and lime really isn't a strong scent, but, um, but still soap, soap, and I needed some more because I'm running out of that raspy one. Um, so hopefully, um, they'll keep the soaps coming, which is good. Um, so that's, I think that's the first time I've had soap in Freya's Cauldron. Okay, so the next thing we got is, um, an aroma oil. So this one's an aroma oil. This isn't an essential oil. Essential oil, obviously, if for those out there who don't go into oils, essential oil is something you can wear sometimes, most of the time. You can put it on stuff and it will make you smell nice. Um, but aroma oils, you can't put on your skin. Um, they're just there to put into like oil burners. So you just put a few drops in some water and then light a candle. Um, and this one is, um, I don't actually know what the scent is. Per, per you, per, 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 Peruvian pa, Palo San, Santo. That's what it says. Um, but it doesn't give me a scent. Let's have a little whiff. These are always really good, these ones that come in boxes, because they don't leak. Oh, that's nice. Oh. That reminds it's very. Oh, that's very nice. It's like a it's like a really sweet smelling um you know that when you go to Egypt and you get those those pipes that people smoke, um, but they're like, like, you can get ones with tobacco in it, but they're usually just, um, just like, it's just, it's a really sweet smell, but it's also got like an earthy tone to it as well. It's lovely. It's very much, I like that one a lot, actually, that's very nice. That's, it's very much my sort of smell. I like that. Um, yeah, so, oh, yeah, it just reminds me of, like, it's almost Persian. Now, like, I, when you go to Persia or Morocco, like, it's almost like when you go to, it's got that sort of Persian smell to it. Um, it's hard to describe, you know, I can just imagine sitting there in, like, on a, on a, on a, pu uh, like, a puffy cushion, um, with, um, like, Turkish delights and stuff. So it's very much that sort of smell. Um, it's stunning though. Love it. Very nice. And I think we've got one last thing, which is our big thing, which I'm sort of hoping I know what it is. Because um, I have two of the, uh, three of these, I think. Yeah, possibly three of these. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I might have two or three. I think three. Um, but this is a big item. That uh, is what I think it is, which is so cool. I hope they carry these on until next time. I hope I haven't missed any. Um, and it is. It's Beltane. So it's got the green man on the top. Um, and then it's got um, Beltane written on it. And this is actually um, a herb bowl, they call it. Like a, a, a offering dish or offering bowl. But I use it to put a candle in. So I'll show you because I've got my Ostara one here. Um, and it, and it, they just fit perfectly. So you just put a little tea light in it. Um, so, which is perfect. I put it on there for, um, each holiday and I haven't got anything with Beltane. Um, so Beltane, little thing. So I've been, I wanted to get a green man, um, wall hanger. Um, so I'm thinking about, um, getting one of them from Amazon. Um, but yeah, so 
that's really cool. I like that. It's really nice. Um, I that's why I love Fry's Corrosion so much because they have great stuff in their boxes. Um, oh, I think I've missed something. I have. I do apologize, guys. There's one more thing in the box I didn't see. So that's the big item, and there's another thing in it. It is. I, I was quite surprised because they, they always have one of these, so that was my fault. I didn't see it. Um, so this is Freya's Cauldron Homemade. Yeah, I thought it was leaking, it's just cold. Um, <laughs> no, it's a Sabbath of Beltane oil. So this is an actual oil, um, a Beltane oil. So you... Again, I've um, got a bit of a blocked up nose, so it's hard to smell. It's very earthy. Very, almost, it almost smells like um, ferns, like Christmas trees, you know, like actual ferns, um, like a forest, which is perfect, I guess, for Beltane, because that's what it's all about, forest. Um, so yeah, so they make this themselves. This is Freya's Cauldron Own Oil, so that's why it comes like this. Um, right, so that is fantastic. So that's everything in the box, guys. Um, so um, it says on here, it's uh, Beltane, also known as May Eve. Um, to name a few is a fire festival celebrating the beginning of summer and the first her um, herds going out into the open pastures. Um, and then it goes on to tell you all about Beltane. Um, which we won't go into um, because that would be a long, very, very long video. So it just tells you all about Beltane there. And then it says um, all the correspondence and stuff about Beltane at the back. Um, so it's about jumping the broomstick, maypoles. Um, how can we celebrate Beltane in present day? So they still do because I've seen them dance around maypoles. I used to do that as a kid. We used to have to do it in my school, which I find very odd because I went to a Christian catholic -y type school. So, um, And it's a very pagan thing to do is um, dance around the maypole. Okay, so the next thing they put in here is... Oh, okay, so this is the list of things we need to go through, what's in the box. Um, so I'll go through some of this other stuff first. So, um, so this is the name of the crystal. So it's called a tree agate. Makes sense because it's all about the forest and Beltane and the green man. So it's called a tree agate. Um, oh, it's a Taurus sign, which makes sense because my birthday's coming up in May. So, and I'm a Taurus slash Gemini because um, I was born on the cusp. So. Yep, um, it's, it's an earth plant. plant, the plant is earth, element is earth, and because my element is earth, but weird, I don't, I have a strong connection with the forest, I love forest animals, I love being in the forest, however, I'm, I don't class myself as an earth person, I'm more of a water um but even though I'm an earth sign, I, I've, I'm more associated with the water or um, the air. Um, I like, I, I'm not really a fire person, but I'm not really an earth person either. But I do love the forest. I, I love being in the forest. Um, so, yeah, so heart chakra, which makes sense. Um, so, yeah, this goes on. This just tells you all about the um, tree agate, which is our crystal of the month. Um, and then this goes on to tell you about lemon balm. So, which is really cool. Because it gives you a little thing. even gives you a picture of the herb itself, which I find really cool. Um, and even though I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't put this in my book of shadows because I don't, because it's got labeling all over it. Um, but um, the information definitely and the little picture on the back, I probably would cut out and put into my book of shadows once I've transferred all of it. Okay, so let's go and find out what we've got in this box, shall we? So we've got the Beltane Candle Dressing Oil, which is their own um, Fresh Cauldron thing. Um, so it says, this month's oil has been created just for this month's box. And as with any of my candle dressing oils, 
as I make all of the oils just for spell work, I would always advise do, doing a skin test if you wish to use them for anointing um, different stuff. Like I've got like a bracelet that I can, that's got volcanic rock on it and you can anoint them. Um, so you just got to be careful, just do a skin test. Um, Freya's Cauldron Spell Candles, which we got here, which I love because they always come in a little baggy, so they're all neat and tidy. And then I just put them in my drawer for when I need the certain colours, um, which is cool. So I always like to have a rainbow of colours of candles. And it says, our wonderful range of spell candles are made here in the UK exclusively for Freya's Cauldron. To my own, um, well, to... I can't say the word, pacification. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. <laughs> to ensure that they add power and energy to your work. I am extremely proud of my range of spell candles this month. Um, we have green, brown, black, orange, and white. Um, all colours associated with the time of year and Beltane. Yeah, of course. And it goes on to tell you the um, colour correspondence. Um, so it's orange is kindness, intelligence, enthusiasm attraction luck self-control um organization strength um intellect and mental clarity oh that might be nice um brown grounding earth magic healing animal magic animal spirits guides um binding foundations friendship and home um white obviously as we know we always get white goddess peace protection it's self-explanatory um Black is also the same. It's um, absorbing negative, um, banishing. Um, we always get a black one. Green, prosperity, money, fertility, abundance, good luck. Greens, you know, that's how it is. And the herb. And then we got the herb, which is lemon balm, um, which we also have a whole sheet on, which I always find really cool. because They tell you some information in here. So it says herb. Um, our herb this month is lemon balm and is usually, an, um, as usual, an info sheet included. So it will go into the info sheet and the info sheet goes on loads. So then we go on to our magical Beltane blend. Um, and it's a hand blended collection of herbs chosen for their association with Beltane and are also used in our spell of this month. Now I'm not entirely sure if they if they've got it on the sheet what's in the blend, um, but it would uh, it'd be nice if they could tell us what goes into the blend, which would be cool. Whether that's a, a secret that only they have because it's their own blend, I don't know. Um, so the crystal, obviously, we had and we got an info sheet on that, which is really cool, um, and that is obviously um, the tree agate, which is a wonderful earthly um energy to to it it's usually it's as usual there's an information sheet um jewelry 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 item um and as you know guys it's actually the charm's very nice i'm just not a lover of the cords i think it makes things look cheap um invest in a chain if you're gonna have a decent it's a very decent charm um i just wish they'd put it on a chain which would have been nicer um okay so Juliet, we have chosen a stunning green woman uh i think that's meant to say power pendant um but i think they've accidentally put an e in um for our item this month it works wonderfully with the intent of the box and also sabbath it was also to be used as an amulet on your altar which i could possibly do i mean i wish to be honest with you because i'm a guy, um, I wish it had been maybe a green man, talisman, um, however, I can't complain really, because I can't make everything all about the men, but it would be nice to have a mailbox, there is a mailbox going around, an American one, and it only comes out every two, uh, every, every two weeks, or every three weeks, or something, or every, no, every, what is it, no, every three months, or something like that, stupid, like, it comes out, it doesn't come out every month, it's just like an every, an every three month thing, it's ridiculous, and the only mailbox out there, and it, I don't know, um, winds me up sometimes, because, I'm not being funny, but yeah, there is girls out there, a lot of girls that unbox this stuff, but there's boys too, um, we are coming out of the woodwork, okay, um, so yeah, so I can't complain, it's, you know, 
Well, you know, a green man, green woman, it doesn't matter. Um, I've got a green man anyway on there, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, other than that, the cord is the only thing I don't like about that. Um, spell kit um, this month. Um, now, I don't know which one they're talking about because we got two. Um, oh, the green man invocation one. So, oh, it's stuck together. Right, um... <laughs> Here we go. So it's the, oh no, is that the love one? Love yourself spell. It's this one I want. So I do apologize. So the spell kit this month, um, we have two spells for you. This, The first is the green man invocation and the second is the self love bag spell. So I will read the what we need for this one now, but I won't read the whole thing because it's already half an hour this video. Okay, so you've got Beltane Offering Bowl, which they've given us. A Beltane Herb Blend, which they've given us. Green Candle um, and a suitable holder. Well, the Offering Bowl is also, um, could be a candle holder. Um, and the Tree Agate Stone. So um, that's what you need for the Green Man Invocation. I must admit, I've not done an Invocation yet, so... Might be something to give a go. And then the other one, let's open this one. So what we need um, is to be done on the Waxing Moon. Um, red Velvet. We got White Cord. Lemon Balm Herb. Okay, Pink Candle, yes. Heart um, Heart Charm. I didn't see a Heart Charm. Unless, oh, actually, I do apologise. My thought. It's very small, and but it is at the bottom. Ooh. Now, do you know what, guys? Usually these charm things are so flimsy that they are... But this is weighty for a little charm. Like, proper weighty. I remember I got one once. It was a pumpkin, and oh, my God, it was like a piece of plastic painted silver. It was awful. Um, but that charm is actually metal, um, so which is cool. So we've got the um, heart charm. So that's everything you need, apart from you will need a, ne a needle and a thread to make the charm back. It's a bit of sewing involved, but why not? Gives you something to do for Beltane, doesn't it really? Um, okay, so we've got the Green Man soap, which I'm really excited about because with the other soaps, the home like the homemade, like you, they tend to be clear, don't they? they they tend to be see-through. Um, they tend to... The water goes on them one hour in the shower and they just melt away um, really quickly. It's so annoying. Um, but this one seems to be, like, quite hefty. So I think this is going to last a while. Um, so Green Man Soap... Um, oh, actually, yes, we'll go with the Green Man Soap because I've missed one. Um, a beautiful, fragrant and gentle soap ideal for your ritual cleansing bath and shower before your rituals. So which is cool. Um, then they mentioned beforehand, I didn't read this because I skipped it, a Beltane collect, um, Collectible Altar Bowl. Um, the next in our set of Freya's Cauldron exclusive Sabbath bowls. Um, our collection started with Lammas, oh, which means I've missed one. I've missed some. Um, so if you are new to the boxes, then you can purchase the ones that you have then, that have then, these will shortly be available in our new spell keepers chest subscription shop okay cool that's good um so i'll just go back and buy the ones i've missed um i might have to contact them because um that would be so annoying because i want the whole set i really do um i'm one of these people if i collect something i need them all it's like pokemon got to catch them all um <laughs> so yeah so that is i love these bowls love them i i don't use them as bowls i use them as tea light holders but <laughs> You know, it is what it is, isn't it, really? I always like to have stuff on my altar that represents each holiday. Because I don't... I've never really celebrated holidays until this year. Um, and, the and the you know, the end of last year. So, this is a new thing for me. Because I even though I've been a witch for a long, long time, I've just never celebrated the holidays. Because I couldn't let go of my traditional Christian holidays that I always knew. Um, and, I mean, it's hard to let go of, like, Christmas and, and Easter and all those fun things that Chris, I was forced upon as a kid as growing up as um in a christian household so um all right so um yeah so that's the bowl and then we got um so it's called a glocker 
pervert, per, 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 I can't even say no. <laughs> I've, I've, I've given up. I give up. Um, I said it before. We say so annoyed at myself. Um, so it's an aroma oil. It's a it's a Glocker, which is the name of the company. Um, yeah. So I said it before. I'm just, I can't I can't pronounce it now. I'm silly, aren't I? I'm just like that. My brain doesn't realize it's a dyslexic thing. Like it. Yeah, I'm quite surprised I even got it in the um the first place. So yeah, so um, this is a, a wonderful oil for an insp inspiring creativity, bring love and good fortune. And it smells stunning, guys. I won't lie, it smells amazing. I might even actually find that company and buy some more because once that runs out, I'm going to be like, oh man, it's such a nice smell. Um, so it says, um, well, that is it for another month. We hope you have enjoyed... Um, packing the box and it will find all the items useful see you next month blessings freya and it goes into the all the information um which i will try and have a look at and uh put down in the description for you um so yeah that was freya's cauldron guys um let me just put all this back um so yeah so freya's cauldron everything that was in there a lot this month as well. Like, they always have a good selection. This is one of the boxes, guys, that I can't let go of. Like, I'm just obsessed with Freya's Cauldron. Like, um, it's, again, like, if this, if it, this is one of those boxes, if they had a Book of Shadows sheet that was anything like um, an American one, I, w it would be perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Like, I would love to have like this is reminds me a little bit of uh, of um which is roots um where they give you a book of shadow sheet for your which tells you all about the herb a book of shadow sheet that tells you all about the um the the um crystal um and a book of shadow sheet that tells you about the theme which is beltane now if they had those that looked like something that stepped out of the book of charmed from the tv series I would go ape and would pay a fortune for it. I really would. So if anyone out there wants to do a box that has a book of shadow sheet that looks anything like Witch's Moon and you make a box like this, I'm signing up and I will pay whatever you ask because I would love... That would make a perfect box for me. A perfect box. To have something like this plus a book of shadow sheets that describes everything that's in the box. So like your crystal, your herb of the month, like you just need, like, it, you gotta imagine when the when you think of these boxes, is that like you used to get when you were a kid, when you used to get those books that you collect, and it used to have like a statue that you collected every month, um, and then every month you get a book that tell you all about that, that, that statue or that, character or whatever it was i remember i collected one on musicals when i was a kid that had a that had a cd with it that was the cd of all the soundtrack of that musical and then the book would tell you all about that musical when i was a kid i i collected one all on the human body so each month you would collect a piece of the human body um and then you'd make at the end of it it turned into a massive skeleton with all the bits of the body and each month you would learn about that part of the body and that's how i got my my degree um because i took biology at school and i got a degree in science um because that started me off i wanted to know everything about biology when i was a kid and i already knew from those books i actually referenced those books when i was doing my course oddly enough they are children's books but i referenced it because it dumbs it down for you and it sort of explains it in a in a, a childlike way which i tend to take in better um so yeah if you had a box like that that like every month you collected something to add to your collection and then a whole thing, a book of shadow sheet that tells you all about that thing that's stunning and lovely artwork. Perfect box, perfect box. I've gone on, um, but I always get on, I get on this rant every time, guys, but there needs to be somebody out there. I wish I could, I could do it myself. If I could make my own box, I would make such a good box. Really would, I really would. I've got so many ideas for a perfect box um, that... As a new witch and an Anna experienced witch would be just the perfect box. I just need someone to get me into that 
that way of, I mean, I don't know how people do it. I, I mean, I've got to say, even in the boxes that I've not liked stuff, guys, I've got to give props to these people who just make it work. They just put a box together. I don't know how they do it, but they do. And they find the time to do it because I just, I wouldn't have the time or the know-how to put all this stuff together and then sort out all the stuff that goes with it. Um, it's a lot of hard work. Um, so I can't, I've got to give you props. Um, so yeah, so, um, great box this month, guys. I love Freya's Cauldron, always have done. Um, it's always been a really good box for me and I enjoy it every month. So, um, I'm going to keep doing it. Um, so I've been jabbering on for 40 minutes, so I'm going to go. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you thought of the box. Um, is there anything on there you liked? Is, did you agree with me? Did you not agree with me? Um, I don't know. So let me know. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, also, um, you know, give me, if you, if you like what you see, if you like the video, subscribe. I have loads of stuff on here that you can watch and uh, more stuff to come your way as well. I promise, guys, for those out there waiting for my next video in the series of Beginner Witch, it will come, I do promise you. Um, I just You just have to bear with me because I've got so much on at the moment. I'm trying to get everything done. And of course, um, I've just ha not been in the frame of mind. Um, occasionally I have that, I have those moments, I have those weeks where I just don't want to do anything. Um, it, you know, it's that, time of, it's that time of life, isn't it really, where we're stuck indoors and we all have down days. I have really bad down days and I struggle with depression and anxiety and stuff like that. So some days I just really am not in the frame of mind to do anything, but um, I've been pretty good through this lockdown. I haven't really had bad days, but these last couple of weeks, they've been hard. So um, I do apologize, but I will get on it. I promise I'll be back on track. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. It's been a great box. Look out for more. I've got more coming. Um, and, uh, yeah, keep watching. So thank you very much. Um, remember guys, you be you and of course, bless it be.